हेलो एवरी वन मई नेम इज मिनी सेठी आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टेइंग हेल्दी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट थ्री इंपॉर्टेंट थियरीज ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड मर्केंटलिज्म थियरी ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड एब्सोल्यूट कॉस्ट एडवांटेज थियरी ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड एंड कंपेरेटिव कॉस्ट एडवांटेज थियरी ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मर्केंटलिज्म थियरी ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड दिस थियरी वॉज ओरिजिनेटेड इन सिक्सटीन सेंचुरी According to this theory, wealth of any nation is decided by amount of gold and silver which they have. According to this theory, wealth of any nation is decided by amount of gold and silver which they have. That means we can increase wealth of nation by acquiring more gold and silver, and we can acquire more gold and silver by doing more export. Because during that time period, in return of export, we received so much gold and silver. primary goal of mercantilism to maximize the export and minimize import because through export we can increase wealth of nation and government play important role to increase export and reduce import by giving export subsidies and imposing tariffs this theory believe on zero sum game zero sum game means one country can receive benefit at the loss of other country and according to this theory we should always try for surplus balance of trade surplus balance of trade means export should be more than the import now we are going to talk about absolute cost advantage theory this theory is given by adam smith in his book named wealth of nation absolute cost advantage is ability of country to produce goods at lower cost as compared to other country for example italy can produce high quality sports car as greater profit as compared to japan so italy has absolute cost advantage in production of sports car and according to this theory a country should increase production and export of those goods in which they have absolute cost advantage and do import of those goods in which they don't have any absolute cost advantage now we understand this theory with the help of an example we have two countries India and USA and they are producing two goods tea and melon with 8 hours of labor India can produce 20 unit of tea with the same 8 hours of labor USA can produce only 5 unit of tea that means India has absolute cost advantage in production of tea that's why India should increase production and export of tea here you can see with 8 hours of labor india can produce 10 unit of melon but with same 8 hours of labor usa can produce 20 unit of melon that means uh, usa has absolute cost advantage in production of melon that's why usa should increase production and export of melon here you can see no doubt india has absolute cost advantage in production of tea but india has absolute cost disadvantage in production of melon that's why india should reduce production of melon and do import of melon from usa and usa has a absolute disadvantage in production of tea that's why usa should reduce production of tea and do import of tea from india now we'll see comparative advantage theory this theory is given by david ricardo according to this theory trade should be based on comparative advantage and we can receive comparative advantage by producing goods at lower opportunity cost what do you mean by opportunity cost opportunity cost means loss of other alternative when one alternative is chosen for example you have limited resources with this limited resources either you can produce mobile or tablet suppose in order to produce mobile you give up the production of tablet and opportunity cost of producing mobile is loss of income or we can say a sacrifice of income which you can earn from the sale of tablet but now you can't because in order to produce mobile you give up the production of tablet according to this theory a country should increase production and export of those goods in which they have lower opportunity cost but reduce production and increase import of those goods in which they have higher opportunity cost with the help of an example we will understand this theory we have two countries usa and uk they are producing two goods mobile and tablet usa either can produce 100 mobile or 200 tablet uk either can produce 80 mobile or 100 tablet first of all we will see opportunity cost of producing one mobile in both country in order to produce one mobile usa has to do sacrifice of two tablets in order to produce one mobile uk has to do sacrifice of 1.25 tablet so here you can see uk has lower opportunity cost in production of mobile that's why uk should increase production and export of mobile 
now we will see opportunity cost of producing one unit of tablet in order to produce one tablet usa has to do sacrifice of 0.5 mobile in order to produce one tablet uk has to do sacrifice of 0.8 mobile so here you can see opportunity cost of producing one tablet is less in usa that's why usa should increase production and export of tablet so here you can see no doubt opportunity cost of producing mobile is less in uk but higher in usa na because usa is doing more sacrifice of tablet that's why usa should reduce production of mobile and start doing import of mobile from uk similar here you can see opportunity cost of producing one tablet is less in usa but higher in uk that's why uk should reduce production of tablet and start doing import of tablet from usa and this is all about uh, comparative advantage theory according to this theory trade should be based on comparative advantage and we can receive comparative advantage by producing goods at lower opportunity cost and we should increase production and export of those goods in which we have lower opportunity cost and uh, reduce production and increase import of those goods in which we have higher opportunity cost so this is all about uh, theories of international trade i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care